What? <laughs> your fault, Mike. All your oh. fault. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for the morning sunset. I mean, for season nine, episode nine of Holy Terror. Apparently, it's my fault. Of Supernatural. I'm, yep. Yes. Yes. Mike has distracted all of us. With really... I, dis- I distracted them with the dumb of the internet. Yes. Mm. And the yeah. dumb of humanity. Yeah. And people, if I was ever president, I would immediately exterminate. Which is probably why I'll never be president. Hmm. Probably. Mm-hmm. Or that I have no interest in politics. Either that or you'd be the best president ever. I'd be the president to get into a fist fight with a senator on the floor of the Senate while it's in session. I'm surprised that hasn't happened already. It's, yeah, the restraints some of these people, you know, politicians have. Yeah. I mean, it's to just... To not just deck each other every day. Why are we this off topic already? Can we talk about Kevin Tran? That's an amazing... No, we cannot... Like... I'm not ready yet! <laughs> As you can tell, somebody's very upset about this episode. <laughs> I'm pretty upset, but I'm not that upset. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I'm way more upset about him than I am about Herschel, though. Me too. Like, I'm thoroughly distraught about this episode. And you're going to see this episode and also when we do The Hobbit, you're going to see, like, a whole new fangirl side of me because... Why is this? Why, Why are you so upset about Kevin Tran? Kevin is awesome and doesn't deserve any of the shit he's gotten from Dean or Sam. Or he any- doesn't deserve any of the shit he's gotten in this entire, you know, s- since... Entire show! Oh, Kevin is so I mean, yeah, sure, he was that really overworking, crazy Asian kid in high school who has to get the perfect grades because, and he's worried that, you know, Harvard just changed their acceptance, you know, standards and shit like that. He's that kid freaking out over 0.001% higher grade. And then all of a sudden, he's running around with a rock, and he's like, I can't let go of this. Just oh he's God. like, I don't know why, but I, I, I can't let go. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, he was utterly confused, so the poor kid. Funny. It seems so funny. And now he's dead. He is dead. After growing up really quick, missing out on college, watching his mom die. What the hell well, are you doing, Mike? His mom is not so, dead. Trust. Just, she's, in, she's in hell and being tortured. She's not dead. Okay, she's as good as dead. Well, to go to hell, you need to be dead. Not really. Sam went uh, while alive. Yeah, but they went back door. You know, Reaper channels. Yeah, also, Crowley's... I think if Crowley's going to send somebody to hell, they'd be dead. Yeah, but Crowley's in charge. He can go back door. He controls the back doors. I think he chose the back door situation with trans mom. He controls because... the front door. <laughs> not anymore. No, not anymore. But I mean, at that time, he controlled the front door. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure whether she's dead or not. Uh, it's going to be that much more heartbreaking if she is still alive, though. Oh, God. I have a feeling they're going to bring Kevin back somehow. Yeah. I hope gonna so. Ken? Because if any save. character on the show deserved to be brought back, it's Kevin. Ken Angel's... Who's, whose blood is currently running through Kylie's veins? Ke- Kevin's. Sam's. Oh, no, Kevin's. you're right. Kevin's, yeah. Yeah, you're right. That was Kevin's. And Crowley yeah. is an ex... like. Wasn't he a, a like some kind of Scottish witch before he was a was he demon? I don't, I, I don't know what he was, or he was just some weird Scottish guy named Fergus. He's not Scottish though. His accent is his name was his name was Fergus MacLeod. He's Scottish. And Fergus MacLeod is the best thing. Bobby makes a huge point of that. Yeah. Oh, right, because they had to find his bones. Right, because they had to find his bones, and it, you know Fergus MacLeod is like oh, going to Ireland. McLeod, it's Scottish, you idiot. <laughs> so, that. Yeah. Yeah. But so let's guys, get on to this episode. Do, do you guys think Kevin's going to come back, or are you just hoping he's going to come back? 
I would like him to come back, and there is, I mean, I guess maybe it is too much hope, but there is a little bit in me that's thinking, yeah, he's going to come back. Because he's like, he's their prophet. You know? It doesn't matter. Prophet, once one prophet is dead, it moves on to the next. A new prophet is, you know, chosen, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Even, well, with the angels all in chaos and all that crap. Even if they were to be able to bring Kevin back, there's no saying that he's still going to be a prophet. Exactly. I, and if Ooh. he does come back, I don't think he'll be a prophet anymore because his powers have already been transferred because he's dead. Right. Oh, that's a good point. So there's a, right now, there is a new prophet somewhere in the world. Well, my question initially was, like, if Cass, being he's, you know, all angelic again, can an angel heal and bring somebody back after another angel smote the shit out of them? I don't think so. I Cause, I mean, Castiel... It. Yeah. And plus, Cass isn't even... It's not even his grace he got back. Yeah, and he's not there. I think there's a time window for bringing people back. Um, um, I'm not sure about that. That's not something they've ever clarified. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like angels can do everything. You know what I mean? No, and you remember the first, like, season four and season five, you know, yeah. Cass said he was cut off from heaven's power, so there were certain things he couldn't do. Yeah. So, so angels in general now might not be able to do everything they used to. Yeah, angels in general are now weaker than they were when we were introduced to them. Plus, there's no real archangels left either that we know of. There are none. There are no archangels left. There are a lot more archangels than they've gone into in this show so far, but Raphael's dead. Uh, Zachariah is dead. Michael and Lucifer are in the, the cage. Gabriel is um, dead. Gabriel is dead. <laughs> God. Gabriel. Another one I'm very upset about. There were more archangels than that as far as I remember. I don't think there were <clears> just five. Yeah, as far as scripture goes, but they, they make it seem like after season five, that there are no archangels to really take over in heaven. So that that's when I thought, okay, the archangels are all dead. Yeah, or maybe there there are some left. They just don't give a shit. Maybe Gadriel is an archangel. Yeah, that's a good point. He I was don't in think he is. prison. I don't th- yeah, I don't think he is either, but he was imprisoned and he was trusted with guarding over the Garden of Eden. Why would you trust such an important task to a not archangel? Yeah, that, I mean, that could have been pre-Archangels. That could have been before God thought that there needed to be Archangels. Eh, it's possible. I don't know. Yeah, we don't have the whole picture. We are ta- We haven't even gotten into our show notes yet at all. <laughs> we haven't because distraction. Because I'm the only one looking camera. into the camera out of f- the four people on the box. No, I'm doing They're something. Busy talking. They're busy talking. We're talking. Laugh. We're contributing. But you know what? You're going to appreciate this later. I guarantee it. A men's warehouse now. You're going to like the way this looks. I guarantee it. What's going to look? Your, your new suit. I just said a men's warehouse. What? What? So, so how, about, how about the Glee Club at the beginning of the episode? <laughs> uh I thought I they were. Not stop laughing. Me neither. I thought they were angel bait. To be perfectly honest, like that's what was happening. I didn't know they were already possessed. I thought it was demons versus angels because I thought like the biker gang was demons and the angels were coming in. You know. Yeah, right. and then they reveal it was a born again biker gang. Yeah, angels versus angels. I, I love the like those exist. Those exist. Apparently. Like that's a thing. Apparently, but no, I, angels. Thought, I thought that was like. A bus full of people, willing vessels, going to receive their angels. I didn't think it was a bus full of angels all singing like that. Yeah, I didn't know what was happening. For and sure. I couldn't. I, I kind of giggled a lot. Yeah, I laughed. <laughs> then they go in. They murder a bunch of badass biker angels. Yeah. Hell's angels. Oh, I just got it. And oh. then I went there. And then I said that like five minutes ago. And then, you know, they walk out and continue singing. Okay. <laughs> What'd I do? I said Hell's Angels, you kept talking, and then at the end of your thought, you were like, ah! Oh, <laughs> God, I'm so... Like, it was a brand new original thought. Like, you <laughs> just became the most clever person in the world. 
<laughs> That's where my brain is today. I'm sorry. <laughs> After all the technical too. difficulties with that other computer, oh my god. And now oh. my camera's flickering. Yeah! Technology. Hmm. Go fucketh thine self. So. <laughs> oh, so while they were heading to. <laughs> what the fuck is going on now? <laughs> oh my god. So while they were, were there heading to the, uh, the scene of the crime, Sam and Dean start having a, a discussion, and Ezekiel interrupts. And uh, he, he seems like he wants to stay away from this. He wants no part of it. But don't you think it, it would have been a little uh, awkward for uh, Sam to just kind of sit at home? Does Ezekiel not really realize this? Uh, yeah, he probably doesn't realize it. He's too wrapped up in himself. <clears throat> yeah. He's he, an asshole! Zeke kind of is. He's not even Zeke! I, 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 I lie. Yeah, I know. I like beginning of the episode. I'm just gonna, you know, back in the beginning of the episode. I'm thinking, you know, Zeke, aren't you being a little too, you know, and eh? like, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, Cass has already vouched for you. Like, I knew they were going to be Castiel. I'm like, he's already vouched for you that you're a good angel and all that stuff. What's your deal, man? Not knowing the f- things that were coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, I mean, there's that. So then, as soon as they get out of the conversation with that, Sam continues to snap right back into whatever his last thought was, whatever he was last talking about. And then he he starts looking out the window and he realizes it's been 50 miles since he last was talking. Uh, He he says one sentence and 50 miles go by. Yeah, and he's still not really knowing what's going on. Like, wouldn't you guys know... Wouldn't you guys know something was up at this point? Like, being in this universe, like, you've lived it, yeah. you've seen all this stuff, wouldn't you know something like this is going on? Well, yeah. that's where um, Dee's excuse comes into play. He's like, well, you really were fucked up during the trial, so yeah, you're going to be missing time, because that's one of the repercussions, the way you're recovering. Yeah, your brain was all screwed up, and now mm-hmm. you know. You see, uh, only the way you said it makes sense. The way Dean said it, he was like, oh, uh, you're just fucked up. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Oh, like Dean is the what? worst liar ever. Would I lie? In, <laughs> would I lie? Would I lie? That's something a liar would say. Except yeah. with that winning ah, smile, ah. right? <laughs> I love, I love Dean. The, they'd be like Dean walking up to Sam and being like, "Kevin Tran isn't dead." Oh, God. Dean is, has been my favorite character for so long. Now I fucking hate him because I have nobody to blame. You can blame Nobody Dean. left to blame. blame. Nobody left to blame but Dean. Blame Dean. Okay, I have a I question. When um, when Sam gets told about the angel inside him, yeah. was it Gadriel who decided to punch Dean, or was it Sam? It was Gadriel. He was said, Gadriel. I think I acted that pretty convincingly. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. He said, I didn't he said Sam, Sam is long gone. He said there's nothing I'm a very Sam. convincing Sam or something like that. It's like I play I think I played him quite convincingly. Yeah. Yeah. So did this spell work or was it Gadriel the whole time? No, Gadriel said the th- he cuz it showed him overhearing the, you know, Dean's exchange with Kevin about the sigil. He said and one he said, minor change to the alter symbols. It, yeah, one tiny change to the sigil, you change the spell. And then they showed his hands had the paint from the sigil on it. Yeah. So it probably backfired and locked Sam out completely. Or it didn't do anything. Or that. There is a, yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So what about Castiel being in a, a uh, hunter, basically? We, we kind of guessed that, that that's what he was doing there. He, <laughs> he had the, the FBI badge. He's playing the part. Colleagues! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking adorable. Like, like, I was just gonna say adorable. I don't know how. Perfect. I don't know how he fools anybody, but he's so cute. Everything he does. He's charming. It's hilarious. He is. You're right. Sweet. He is. If... In a sweet, innocent way. He's char- very charming. Yeah. Yeah. 
Colin, <clears throat> Misha Collins is, is like one of my favorite actors, and he is just the biggest practical joker. If you guys have not, yeah. go on like YouTube, whatever, and just start searching for like panels that he's been on at like supernatural conventions. Don't They're not necessarily the not necessarily the comic cons or whatever, but there's yeah. stuff where like. Sam and Dean will, will be in the middle of a panel and Castiel will sneak into the line with a microphone and ask like a ridiculous question with an accent, like a weird voice that is not immediately apparent. And he's like asking, uh, ever since Misha Collins has joined the show, like how inspiring of an actor is he and how has he changed the way? Like <laughs> He pulls a Patrick Stewart because this video is of Patrick Stewart doing that to other Star Trek actors in you know, the middle of their panels. Yeah, so... <laughs> And then you go back, you watch, like, uh, there'll be a Misha Collins panel, and then Dean will walk on and do the same thing to him. So, like, these guys are just practical jokers behind the sets. Um, it's amazing that they even get the show filmed in the first <laughs> yeah. place. Say all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, but Felicia then, Day, like, talked about it at her panel Comic-Con this year, and she was like, they, they're, like, they're very professional. Like, they can turn it on like that when they need to do it. They just do it. Right. It's They're just, used to it. It's just yeah. incredible to think, because you see the way that they are in their blooper reels, you see the way they are at the Comic-Con panels when they're not working, and you think yeah. that they get sick of each other being on set all day, putting up these practical jokes, but no, they just, they love it. They love it, so I, I have a feeling that this show is probably going to go past ten seasons. So Interesting prediction. Yeah, just they, they're having so much fun with it, and usually shows like, and when they're doing well, because this is still one of the, uh, the top CW shows, when they're doing so well, it's usually the actors that are like, I'm done playing this, I've, I've played the character to the most that I want, they don't want to do it anymore. <clears throat> but these guys seem like they're in for it for the long haul, as, as long as the fans want to do it, they want to be, they want to be in, they want to be involved, so. I mean, I think as far as the 10 season, like, cap... I feel like that's a writer's thing, and that that's how far the writers are going with the story. I know they they were supposed to end it at five, but kept going. Um, but I I feel like they're gonna the writers are gonna call it a ten seasons. I think I remember hearing that during the seventh season, yeah. they actually said that there was gonna be they had written enough script and stuff for five more seasons, but then oh. they then they called the cap at ten. Hmm. Yeah, I remember because initially they said they wrote the five seasons, like that's what they initially yeah. wrote, and it would tell like you know a one big story, mm -hmm. which it did pretty effectively. Yeah. And then you know after that, they did, once the story was told, they realized, oh, this show is really popular. Let's add another season. And now, who knows how much material they have? Maybe that's what. Maybe they did write like. A whole ton of seasons, and that's why they're doing a spinoff episode uh, series, so they can get some of that other material out there. Maybe. Yeah. Without, I mean, like the ideas, the basic principles, and mm. stuff. Yep. All right, so let's let's get back to the the show here. Um, mm. yeah. we, we've got quite off that. Usually we do this at the end, but for some reason we decided to do it in the middle here. But um, that's just where we got. We whole went. episode. Yeah, the whole episode's been this way so far. Um, so we learn about the third faction, which we've kind of uh, guesstimated. Uh, we didn't know who was running it. it it's it's this, uh, this other angel called Malachi. Mm. Uh, what would you guys think about that? Um, Just brutes. Just that's, brutes. That's the impression I got. And they even, yeah. you know, referred to Malachi as the anarchist at one point. Yeah. So, like, he must be, like, you know... A not very popular angel. He's probably been stirring up trouble for a long time. Yeah, so he's, you know, if there was still order, law and order in heaven and all that stuff, he was probably one step away from being in the same shit boat that Gadriel was stuck in. Yeah. The, you know, heaven's prison. Like, that sounds fun. Ish. Sounds better than hell's prison. Yeah, you never Maybe know. it's exactly the same. Just a it probably is exactly the same. It's probably like a sub dimension of hell, like the cages for Lucifer. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But then you see, <clears throat> you see Sam, Dean, and Cass. They're kind of discussing it. They're at the bar. They're still, you know, after hours. The bar's back open. 
think it, I think it was the same bar. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed to be the same bar. Uh, and they're sitting there, and they're all having a beer. Oh, yeah. And Cass is clearly bombed after one beer. <laughs> Who's more of a lightweight, Mike or Cass? <clears throat> Hey. hey, Mike is definitely more of a lightweight. Oh my god! Only when Chrissy makes me drinks. <laughs> when Cleo pours the the whatever the alcohol is in the drink, I'm the wasted one. Yes, we'll oh, go with that. I like my drinks. Like one of the first, like the second time, like. I, you know, after I met her, that we hung out. It's a D and D night. She's like, yeah. going upstairs for a drink. Anybody want anything? I'm like, yeah, surprise me. She comes back. Oh, it's you know, it's Jack and Coke. Uh, like, oh yeah, I'm a little heavy handed. Yeah, it was. It was about fifty fifty. It was more than fifty fifty. It was now more. I never okay, made more 50, than fifty fifty. I did the other night at John's party. That was a mistake. Yeah, it was. Crack it and Coke. It was a little bit more than fifty fifty. That was a bad idea. On topic. Supernatural. <clears throat> yes. So, um, during that whole thing, um, Zeke kind of uh, decides he needs some air or whatever. So he decides to leave, and he goes out to the car, uses that as an excuse. And he stumbles across Metatron. Were you guys expecting to see Metatron so soon? No. Was I expecting it? No. Considering I read it in last week's synopsis, yes. <laughs> so. Cheater. <laughs> my fault. Um, no. Um, I didn't expect to see Metatron at all, ever. Yeah, I thought he was just going to stay in heaven and be all la-di-da. Well, there's no heaven. There is heaven. There is. Well, well, it's locked. <coughs> he can't get back in. So. Only he can. You know, Metatron's the only one who can get in and out. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I guess he I... said, you know, it's the last, like, four months. He's like, you know, after that, it's kind of getting a little, you know, stir-crazy up there. Oh, okay. no, I assume... I guess I, I wasn't fully listening to that conversation because I thought it was that he banished all the angels from heaven so that they would be down there on earth with him. Nope. nope he banished He's them all so, so he lonely. could have heaven all to himself. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. That's why he wants to start a new heaven. Yeah. Yep. And I was just like, oh, good. New heaven. What, what, did, what did you guys think when uh, Gadriel kind of said, so you're going to be the new god? And he was kind of like... Oh, no, l l let's not call let's, it. Let's yeah. call me X. No, my favorite was, it is a burden I must bear. And I'm like, oh, you're so selfless. Thank you. He's going to call himself the new god, and then something's going to happen where the actual god comes back and is like, Please. No. Chuck is going to come back and he's going to wreck Metatron in the US. No, no. God is going to bring Kevin back and Kevin's going to be his vessel and Kevin's going to be gone. <sighs> and everything's going to be okay. If that Whoa. happens, if that actually happens, Chrissy, I, I will. I can't say I will buy you something really expensive because it'll probably happen knowing, happen knowing my luck. <laughs> Well, say that you'll buy me something really expensive, and then don't. Just, I, it needs to happen, please. It'll happen. <laughs> because you said that, it'll happen. Because I could totally see that happening. I really hope so. Although I wouldn't mind seeing Chuck again. Yeah. I liked Chuck. I liked Chuck, too. Mm -hmm. I like Kevin more! <laughs> Kevin's okay. dead, and he's not coming back. <laughs> How upset were you over Kevin? I just want to address that right now. I was watching the episode on my laptop. So I slammed as hard as I could the laptop screen down. I punched the wall and down my beard. Went to get another one. <laughs> oh, wow. I How was your hand? I, I was just dead. I didn't punch it that hard, but, you know. Is there a dent in the wall? <clears throat> no, I, I punched a pretty solid wall. Well, actually, it was more of a boom. Open She slapped the wall. I slapped the wall. So, you guys, were you guys surprised to hear that Ezekiel was actually dead? I was just like, oh shit! Yeah, yeah it wasn't I... more of a surprise. It's like, uh, that explains it. 
yeah, that explained a lot. Mm. I I didn't really think that it, he used a false name. I thought it was still Ezekiel. I thought he had just had different like agenda. Um, mm. So it was kind of surprising to me to find out that it wasn't Ezekiel. Which I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but it's something I didn't yeah. even consider. Yep. Yeah, me neither. I would imagine a lot of people didn't consider that. Pretty good twist. What a twist! <laughs> yep. So, how about the scene when Cass was praying? I thought that was pretty comical. Oh, that was funny. I don't know. Like, I don't know how it works from this. I don't know how process. you can do it. I don't know how humans do it. <laughs> he's sitting there, he's praying like every style prayer yeah, that you could like, possibly imagine. Gets down on the knees, Chris. I don't know, I'm not familiar with this end of the process. Does and then, the, you know. Does the uh, yoga um... mm, <laughs> on it, yeah. you know, like the Muslim, you know, down on the mat and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Standing there all. Wow. Um, so. So after Cass prays, he gets kidnapped, um, kind of accidentally, um, the angel that was answering his prayer accidentally was being tailed and got Cass caught and all that stuff. So it realize it's one of Malachi's, uh, faction, uh, members, and they decide to start torturing him for information, and the torturer believes that Cass and Metatron are working together, and Cass, who... Yeah, I almost, like, I I want to consider Cass as, like, a dumb character. Like, dumb as in, he doesn't have a lot of common sense. No, he's intelligent, but he's right. naive. Very, yeah. yes. So, he quickly figured out, like, caught on to, I should just say yes, which is something, when we first met Cass, it didn't seem like something he would do. Did that, something did that really did surprise you guys? Uh, yeah. no, because... <clears throat> He's been living, you know, on Earth as a human for so long. He's been, you know, hanging with Sam and Dean for how many years now? Yeah. And I mean, Dean taught him how to lie. <clears throat> yeah, Dean taught him how to lie, and now he's been living as a human human on his own. He's picking up all these, you know, traits and crazy things. And... I see it from a different angle. I mean, he was put in a situation where it was warlike, where, you know, he had to make battle decisions, strategize, so that he could get out of that situation. So that clicked in his head, and then he decided to take the violent route because it was probably something that, you know, he felt that he had to do to preserve his life. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, old Cass well, uh, probably would have taken the violent path also, but old Cass wouldn't have thought to outsmart him the way he did. No. Exactly. No. No. Old Cass would not have pulled that whole subterfuge thing there. <clears throat> this is That's probably the whole human part of Cass now coming through, too. I mean, he had to live as a human for so long, he's had to figure out different ways to live and survive. So, <clears throat> natural instinct kicking in. And then, now he's an angel, so who gives a crap about natural human instinct? Yeah. What do you think the consequences now, after killing him, Cassiel absorbed his grace? Uh, what do you think the consequences of Castiel having someone else's grace inside of him is going to be now? Mm. He's definitely not going to be as powerful as he was. So we um, don't know that, unfortunately. Like, I, I think, you know, <clears throat> being that the angels are already, you know, banished from heaven and they're already, you know, they are walking time bombs, but they aren't as powerful as they were if they had that little connection to heaven. So there, he's already, you know, weaker than it would they would have been originally. And how many times was Cass dead, brought back? Cass and in dead, brought back. Yeah. He's been empowered by God, in a, in a sense. So, you know, he was probably the strongest angel that ever existed, and now he's just some some lackey's grace. That's it. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Is <clears throat> an angel. You know, does is like a grace just the essence of an angel and anyone will work for an angel? Or is, you know, Castiel's grace is gone, so he took this other angel's grace. Is it like, you know, trying to put a size, I don't know, a size 8 ring on the size 10 finger? It's just not going to work right? It might be trying to put some, like someone 
everyone else's soul. Well, I mean, because Cass lost his grace, but he didn't lose who he was. Yeah. Right. So, so it might just be a thing, and how powerful the angel is is just how they use it. it, it so maybe is it just their energy source? Yeah. And any one like is an as good as the other. other. So yeah. like, I if of, I put on a scouter, he's gonna it's gonna tell me what his energy level is. Oh my god. What? <laughs> she went Dragon Ball on us. Oh, okay. I went a little over my head for a second. For our for our next off topic, I present to you this lovely tree. This tree lights up. And no, it doesn't. This tree used to light up. You unplugged it. How many I, how I many lights are on tree. that tree? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eight, correct nine, answer is it's over nine thousand. It's yes. over nine thousand. <laughs> what nine thousand? Fifty. He's, he's exactly fifty. He's still counting the lights. Exactly fifty. <laughs> no, it's over nine thousand. Everything we just said, just to, you just wanted to kill the lights. <laughs> I I like the abridged rendition on that. It's. Oh my- 1006. What? Really? Yeah, kick his ass. Yeah, out. kick his ass. Oh, 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 God. Ow, oh, ow, oh, oh. Wait, this isn't right. Tha- uh oh. Napa, I was wrong. I was holding the scouter upside down. Oh, why? It's over 9,000. Ra. Just so it's anticlimactic. Ra. <laughs> okay. Yep, I went there. Sorry. This is the show of off topic. Why? I, I don't know Still why. Still won't be as long as our Walking Dead podcast. Why Kevin are we Tran so- is dead. What is it? That's why we're off topic tonight, because you started it with that and you broke the poor girl. Look at her. She's tra- <laughs> traumatized. <laughs> I. So when Metatron ordered Gadriel to kill somebody, Chrissy, did you think it was going to be Kevin? No. 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 What do you think it was? I thought, I it, thought was, it was going to be an angel or Castiel or somebody. I, I didn't think it was going to be Kevin. And I still didn't even realize. Like, I was so upset when Kevin got killed that I still didn't realize that it was Kevin's name on the piece of paper until he dropped the paper on his chest. And I was just like. That's because you were too busy punching walls. Suck. As soon as he handed the paper and he looked at it and they just cut away after that, I'm like, he just told him to kill Kevin. Because Kevin's a prophet, and he has the angel tablet, and he's the only one who can screw with Metatron's plans right now. Uh, he's, like, the only one who can really... That's not true. And Dean no. is a little ungrateful bastard. Kevin is the only one at the moment who can throw a really serious monkey wrench into Metatron's plans immediately and quickly. So he's the biggest threat right now. What about Crowley? Well, Crowley... Crowley needed Tran to decipher what the angel and demon tablet both said. But initially, yeah. initially, but I think now he knows right. somewhat. And he can, he'd be able to figure out just the way. I mean, it took Kevin a long time to decipher these tablets. It's going to take Crowley just as long, and it's but now take, he's able. It's going to take the next prophet just as long, too. So yeah. in Metatron's mind, the highest threat is this kid is good at translating them. You know, he's used to it. He has it. He's had it for a while. He probably knows exactly how to, you know, fix what I've done. So I'm going to off this kid. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in quick review, Kevin's dead. Mm-hmm. My God. Sam's gone. So is Agent Coulson, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> nice. A member of the team's in danger. <laughs> A member of the team is threatened. So, so, so Sam's gone. Kevin's dead. Cass is an angel. Well, we don't hiding. know what. I mean, we don't know what's up with Sam. Sam could be, you know, gone, and you know, Zeke is just using his meat suit. Or Sam could just be suppressed. He could. Sam could I don't be know. depressed too. Sam is. <laughs> Sam is probably depressed. Sam is Very gone depressed. for like the eighth time in this whole series. Yeah. Like yeah. he's completely possessed by demon, or he's in the cage yeah. with Lucifer, or his soul is stuck in the cage with Lucifer. Now he's mentally insane because of the time his soul spent in the cage. 
now he's he's back together. Now he's mentally insane again. Now he has split personalities. Now he's perfectly normal. Now he's taking on the trials and, you know, slowly losing his sanity again. Now he's possessed by an angel, and now he's completely gone. Yeah. He'll be back. They have oh, gone. They Zeke have says another... gone, but that could just mean that he's that Sam was just not conscious and he was acting as Sam. You know, it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean Sam's dead or Sam's true. He's in the back of that head of yep. You know, the meat suit and Gadriel's up front. So what's next meat for Dean? Uh, crying, crying on the floor of the mental letters Dean, HQ, saying Dean. Kevin over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, I love Dean. All right, and now, now that the anger is subsiding, I do feel a little bad, but I want him to just be inconsolably guilty. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to feel it. He's going to, like, because Tran went to him and was like, every time I do something for you, yeah. I get I end up being screwed. And now he's dead, and Dean saw it with his own eyes. He's going to be so guilty. Yeah. And then Gadriel's taking over his brother, yeah. and they don't know what the hell happened to Cass. Yeah, Cass last... just called and said, I'm not going to be around for a while. Yeah, exactly. So he's got all his people. God. Felicia God. needs to come back with Dorothy. Felicia's in Oz. No. They Felicia need to come back. in Oz. No. They need to come so, back. But yeah, Charlie look at, can stay in Oz. Look at, look Shove at Dean. Shove your hatred for Felicia because she's the best person in yeah. the world. I like Felicia as a person. Charlie as a character can stay in Oz. Charlie's in Oz. Love Charlie. Castiel's staying away. Sam is gone. Kevin is dead. Bobby's dead. <laughs> Dean has Bobby got dead a long time. Yeah, well, but got, Dean has got nobody left. So he's gonna go to Crowley. He's gonna Gar- go to Crowley. Crowley, right? He's still got Crowley. Crowley's he's, there. Crowley. That's not. That's not like a, a prize by any means. But he's. I would. I it's would. It's not even a good consolation prize. Good. Crowley's gonna be good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crowley's, Crowley's gonna be a good guy, and Kevin's gonna come back as God. Crowley's gonna be good. Finally, we need I like we need Dean to just go cross over to another show and just go join like the cast of the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Then I might actually watch the show. But they're two completely different vampire mythoses. So it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're they're two. Fine. They're two separate species of vampires. Oh. Suck it. So now. There's two different. Oh, how many species of vampires are there? Jefferson starships. Jefferson starships. They were part vampire. They were. They were. Part- really? Yes. They, they were. were part vampire, part wraith, and part werewolf. I oh, think. Okay. They were just a bunch of things. They were. They, you know, they were Eve experimenting with making new things. Yeah. Skinwalker. I don't remember. Yeah, that's what they were. They were vampire, skinwalk. You know, shapeshifter. And uh, Wraith. What? Exterminate. Danger, 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 Will Robinson. That's a wrong robot. Dalek. That's a Dalek. He's been hanging out on my desk waiting for us to do the Doctor Who episode. Dalek? I like the upward inflection when they say Dalek. Dalek! So, so that's Johnny Five? That's Dalek. Johnny Five. I mean, if that if that was Johnny Five, that movie would be way more interesting. <laughs> I mean, by by that I mean Megatron. Me- Megatron, dinosaur Megatron, or actual robot Megatron? I have, actual robot Megatron. I have all my robots in order. I, like I'm not confused. Dinosaur about them Megatron at all. isn't actually Megatron. That is that is Rosie from uh, the the Jetsons. The Jetsons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Imagine Rosie and the Jetsons as a Dalek. I'm gonna make that happen. They had a version of Rosie on Futurama. <clears throat> she was crazy. Like, clean, clean, everything must be clean. That's why the dog had to die. He wasn't clean. <laughs> Supernatural! Is that, is that why Kevin Tran had to die? Yes, he wasn't clean. He had to be purified. He was purged by an angel. Uh, he was oh, uh, poor Kevin. He got touched by an angel and then he died. Angels are dicks. Yes, yeah. we've known this for five seasons now. So, They're so let me now. let me ask, Chrissy, was that image burned into your brain? Oh gosh. 
you're you're, you're going to meet her when we go to the Hobbit to see that. So she, she's going to kick you in the nuts. If we're making puns about my pain right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes I can take, not puns. <laughs> they are not punny at all. Oh, he just gave another pun. We're squishy. We should add him to the call to get some more puns. No. <laughs> he is like the pun master, Chrissy. Every it's word horrifying. that comes out of Squishy's mouth is a pun. Dom, <laughs> you don't, you don't know, fangirling. Like this is nothing. Un- after the Hobbit, when all the stuff that happens to Thorin, spoilers, I, I spoilers. I didn't say what is going to happen to Thorin. Clearly, it was written in the book how many years ago? Decades ago. Yeah. I don't read books. That's that's the thing though that we have to talk about when we do that podcast right. is whether we talk about the ending of the book or not. Of course we will. You talk about the movie because yeah, but the movie and the book is so. They're doing, you know, they're taking some creative license with the movie to tie it to Lord and of the Rings. And this is not supernatural better. at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're sorry. But yeah, they're doing that to tie it together better for people who haven't read the books. To, to you know, tie Hobbit to Lord of the Rings. And is say, is oh, this, this because is Kevin Tran story. was not a, a prophet that he didn't write the ending properly? No, this is because Kevin Tran wasn't an elf. So, okay, so let me ask now, um, Chuck. He was a Hobbit. Did Chuck predict Kevin's death? He's God. He knew it was going to happen. Well, <clears throat> well, it de- Chuck it's... stopped writing after like what was it, the seventh season? Or so we no. know. No, yeah. um, Charlie. No, Charlie said she goes. I found a lot of unpublished work online. At first, I thought it was fan fiction, but after reading it, it was definitely Carver Edlund, aka Chuck's work. Yeah. So, so he's, like, he disappeared. Like they thought he was dead. Right. Yeah. He could have be. written all that before he disappeared. True. This is true. So it's still all written and being released, you know, to the web, to the internet as like fan fiction or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, uh, but that's also the question of whether uh, Chuck, when he was writing that, was a human and just a prophet, and then he was used by God as a vessel, or if Ooh. he was God all along, pretending to be a prophet. See, that's the thing: was he pretending to be a prophet, or is are the prophets? you know, Vessels worthy of God's vessel. Yeah, so, which would make sense that Kevin would come back. He's a vessel, yeah. Because he's a vessel. Um, but, Kevin's dead. Uh, I don't know, it's confusing. Kevin's anyway, so dead. moving along. Yeah. Where were we? At least we're off topic on topic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so, can I ask, yeah, can I ask you another question, Chrissy? <laughs> John... Go to sleep. <laughs> wow, that's more, nice. Can, more importantly, did he turn a prophet? Go to sleep is what she says. If I pulled one of that... Now, down, now that John I'm... is here, I have the perfect question for Chrissy. Okay, yeah. Was was Could you say Kevin was hot? Because <laughs> his eyes were burned out! <laughs> oh my god, Dom. Smoking hot. Ooh, I'm not taking any part in this. I'm I'm good. I'm not saying anything. I'm good. <laughs> I'm here playing with my pencil and my knife and my glue stick. <clears throat> pencil, so, knife, guys. glue stick. I'm I'm reading the notes, trying to you know see where we're at. Oh, we're we're and, done with the and, notes. And, we're done. And I read and and then I read when Dean takes Sam into a storeroom, and I go, bad pictures, bad pictures, bad fan fiction. <laughs> Dean takes Sam into the storeroom, and then... Uh-huh. Oh All right, the, there will be no wincest on this show. All right? Yes, I agree. I am not in favor of wincest. Okay, so, next episode, we are not getting until January 14th. And I'm sure I'm you guys... Serious? I'm yeah. sure you guys are so upset are that you're serious? not going to... I'm sure you said, guys are so upset that you're not going to be seeing more of us until January 14th and watching us get so off-topic talking about Lord of the Rings in the middle of our Supernatural show. So you guys are not going to miss that at all, are you? No. Well, probably not. So, there was some reference fucking to... wants to watch me talk. 
there was some reference to Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit earlier in Supernatural, so it kind Charlie of Charlie references through. it all the time. It's she, the Rudy Rudy Hobbit, so Rudy Hobbit always gets a pass. Oh. So okay. our our January fourteenth episode is called Road Trip, and there's really not much of a synopsis. If any, couldn't find I made, one. I made it up for the show notes. I couldn't find one. And the only I, thing... It was just based on the preview I saw. The only thing that we had seen was uh, in in the preview clip, we see Sam and um, Crowley on a road trip. Yeah! Sam? Road trip. No. Or what we saw... Dean and Crowley? Yes, Dean, sorry. Dean and, and Crowley on a, in, on a road trip, and they're, they're trying to expel um, Gadriel. Gadriel from Sam. Yeah, Sam, there's a scene where Sam's tied up in a chair and Crowley's torturing him like Naomi was torturing angels trying to expel him from Sam's body. That's probably bad that I'm happy that but, that's going to happen. No, it's good. I'm no. really happy that's going to happen. Like, really happy. Gadriel I need to see it. someone in pain. Yes. What happened to Kevin? Someone needs to be in pain. I almost would prefer Metatron over Gadriel. Yeah, me no, too. Gadriel did it. Because Metatron's a dick and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Gadriel so didn't weird. want to do it. Doesn't no, he matter. Did. It doesn't matter. He did it. He didn't want to. I don't do. You can see it. Doesn't but matter. He, he did, did it. it. Doesn't matter. He did it. No, technically Sam it's did it. Like, okay, that's like the governor argument. It's like, oh, I didn't want to murder them. I feel so sorry, but I did murder them. Who Did cares? It. You fucking murdered them. Can we, can we stop <laughs> giving spoilers person. on other shows from our, from a show that we're currently in in case other people are not caught up on other things and get mad at us that there's spoilers from other shows now? Ooh, can we, can we just stick That's to the nice. show we're in instead of spoiling every other show mm. on the internet? I remember when I made the same comment in a episode a couple episodes back on I don't know what the heck we were doing and you said, this is a spoiler show, it's gonna happen! <laughs> Yeah, I also did Not from that from the really same show. I didn't say who died. You're talking about things. Anyway. Stuff and things. Are we not allowed to talk about other things? Stuff and things. No, we can't. We have to sit here and stare at the camera all night and not say a word. Moving on. <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, where can the people find you? There. They could find me at Thilladrin on Twitter. There's a bird. That is a lower third. No, a bird. There's a bird. See the birdie? No. There's the birdie. That no, that... There. That is no. my expertly yeah. drawn birdie. It's such a good bird. I know. A bird. Chrissy, no where bird. can the people find you? People can find me at... All those places. Cleo's MF Vids on YouTube and at Cleo Moto on all these other lovely social media outlets. And I want to thank... I think it's... uh. uh the real night chicken for following me on Twitter. Like, I saw that and legitimately smiled. Thank you. Oh. Now, now he has to go follow her on every single other one to get brownie All points. Oh yeah. <laughs> you you must you must uh, uh, complete the circle. That's a circle. Anyway, Omikins. Uh, I'll make it a circle. Don't worry about it. Omikins, where can the people okay. find you? How do you wait? Pencil, glue stick, knife. By powers combined, I have a lower third for my wife. Aww. They can find her there. So apparently the people can find Mike at Lady Venom 24 where his lower <laughs> third currently is. I was going to get... I'm. There's a wire here, another wire across my legs, and headphones on my head. Otherwise, I would have got up and ran it over to her. But... So sweet. What are you doing? There, so, yeah, yes, okay. at that. This is why I wasn't paying attention for the first five minutes. At Lady Venom twenty four L A D Y V E N O M twenty four. You can follow me on Twitter at P H E N O M E D O M, phenomenon. And uh, you could <laughs> you could follow us all on Facebook, YouTube, and now Twitter dot com slash ASO TV podcasts. Some yeah, more podcasts Twitter. for some of your favorite TV shows. Make sure to send any questions, comments, or feedback to us in our comments on YouTube. Send them to us on Twitter. Leave a message on Facebook. Or you can even email us at uh, asotvpodcast at gmail.com. Yep. 
ASOTV podcast at gmail.com. Totally. I would I would love to hear whether you guys love or hate the fact that we never stay on topic. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I you say, we're gonna do it anyways. It's gonna happen. Because I know I know some people like like sort of like that when, you know, there's some off topic stuff that happens, but And then there's people who hate it. Then there's so, people who hate it. So well, of course. I just wanna know where everybody okay. stands. I yes, yes. So I would just prefer if we, we refrained from spoilers of other shows in the I, middle I, of I'm our sorry. shows. I thought I was vague enough. I didn't I didn't want to, you know. Okay. Sorry. I thought I was vague. Till next week. See you guys later. Bye. 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 Us. Yo. Later. Just because you're wearing that hat doesn't make you gangsta. Yeah, it does. Word. It does.